guys. I wanted to do a quick review of this um, light bulb 4 charger I got off of Amazon. Um, this is the one that I paid about 50 bucks for, plus another $20 in tariffs. Apparently, by the the seller said it was uh, tariffs. Personally, I think he just added it to it, but whatever. Uh, there's the make there. I'll leave a link in the description if you're looking for one. This is a 4 amp charger at 58.4 uh, volts. It's a 16S. Uh, first off, it's a uh, very, very thick casing on it. Um, obviously, there's a screw, one for your regulator and one for the um, transformer. I've already tested it. It works pretty good. It has two fuses. Uh, there's one there, and there's one there, and it comes with an extra two in the box. It also comes with a power cord. Um, one thing I did notice, though, when I got it is it has a really, really, really bad smell. Um, it sort of smells like uh, when a capacitor is gone inside of it. So I don't know if it's from the glue or what, but I figured we'd just have a quick glue inside of it. And uh, if we can actually see... Uh, the board that's in there, just to make sure there's no bad caps. But it does smell like um, a cap is vented inside, which it probably has, and it's probably just the glue. Like this thing is built like a tank; should last a while. So I reasoned, well, pretty much the pictures I saw on the internet is pretty old. The only reason I picked it up was that. Uh, Paid the extra 20 it's because I knew it was built pretty good. Yeah, you're not going to get that board out. As you can see, he's glued it in there pretty good. I can see a rectifier on the side there. It's not even... Um, you see the rectifier there. It's not even... Uh, it's not even uh, mounted to the uh, heat sink, so that's going to get hot. Don't feel any swollen cap in there. You're not going to get that out without damage. I'll try the other end, take a look at the fan, see what type of fan it is. Going to be... I took another job, so... Basically, my hands are tied on doing videos for YouTube, unfortunately. Um, I've been doing it for six years, and... YouTube just doesn't, uh, uh, definitely don't pay what they used to. But that's alright. I keep posting videos. I mean, I was doing it way before I was getting money for it, so. I'm going to try this side here. Let's see if we can get any further in this side. Yeah, so if you're interested in getting one of these, and you don't want to go through AliExpress or the um, some of the other guys, uh, I definitely recommend picking it up. But uh, like I said, be prepared to pay an extra 20 bucks at the door, which kind of sucks. But I think it's also because of the um, they use DHL, and DHL always scams me for money. Can't see the side. Same thing. I don't really see anything. The caps are clean and not bulging. I think it's built pretty good. But uh, to get it apart would be uh, a chore. Like there's a pot right there that he's actually glued to the side of the uh, case. So if you try to rip it out, that's going to rip the pot right off. So you have to de-glue that before you do anything to slide it out. I can see why he glued it on the other side because there's no screws actually holding the board in. You just take this one out, take this one out, and it slides out. So he's just trying to keep it from uh, moving around. But uh, I can't, I can't even see what type of fan it is. It's probably just a um, sleeve bearing. So that's about it on this uh, charger. I wish I could take it apart and show you the part to the side a little bit better but things like I said it's built pretty good later guys